Hello colleagues and welcome to our Baltic training. My name is Martin and I would like to introduce you in the outside inspection of the Boeing 737. Today Douglas will join us. He's Captain on Dash Q400 and he would like to see a real aircraft. So enjoy it, have fun and let's go. Martin, safety first. Oh, safety first, sorry. <laughs> Now, let's start. You, as the commander of the aircraft, have the pleasure to enjoy this healthy walk around. We begin with the left forward fuselage, where we check the probes, sensors, ports, vents and drains. And what shall we check there? Make sure that the pitted probes are free of their covers, not damaged and the security of the attachment. Check the alpha vane and the total air temperature probe for damages. It can happen that an insect has decided to make the pitot tube its home. From the left forward fuselage we continue to the nose section. Check this section for lightning or bird damage. Lightning diverter strips prevent damage to these antennas and the equipment they connect to. The lightning diverter strips decrease lightning energy and transmit it to the airframe. Make sure that the forward E and E door is secure and handle is flush. The next step is to inspect the nose wheel section. Visually check that the chocks are in place, that the tires and wheels are in good condition and the tire wear is correct. Make sure that the strut wise measurement is taken place from the rear. How much should it be? It measures three fingers or more. Check that the exterior lights are clear and not damaged. Make sure the nose wheel light works. It is required to be able to view the red gear down indicator stripes. Check that the red marks on the locking brace are clean, easy visible and aligned. Verify that the nose gear viewing window is clean and unbroken. Don't forget to remove the gear pin. The downlock pins are usually installed by the maintenance or ground crew to make sure an outside force does not unlock the landing gear. Check that the nose wheel spin brake called snubbers, are in the correct place. Snubbers are provided to stop the spinning of the nose wheel after takeoff. 